Okay, we're back at the uh, wrapper page I made in another tutorial. I just want to show you one simple thing, simple but important thing, and that is putting comments in the code. Um, just like any programming language, it's really important to comment your code for your own purposes and for the purposes of anybody who might be using the code, uh, etc. So there's one tricky, th a little bit tricky thing in uh, HTML, which is that the commenting in CSS is different than the commenting in HTML. So right now when you're on a page like this that mixes the, the CSS and the HTML, has them on the same page, it depends on where I'm writing how I'm going to make comments. So when I'm in the CSS, uh, I make these comments in a very different way. So I make a slash and then a star and you can tell that's the right way to begin a comment because everything below it grayed out automatically in Dreamweaver and that's one of the advantages of writing code in Dreamweaver is the color coding and I say uh, below is a body tag um, with a declaration with a background color declaration and then I make another star and then another star and another slash. And now you can tell that the comment is ended. So that's how you make a CSS comment. And, and when you I grade your assignments, and I, this is one of the main ways I'm going to know whether you really to appear to understand the code will be based on the names you put in it. All right, or the comments you put in it. Now in the HTML, there's a, um, a different style of of code and there's an easier way to do it um, if you forget if you're forgetful like me and uh, that is you go, can go up here to the remember we're in the classic view and I go up here to common and one of the things in this common layout is a comment so I click on a comment and it actually gives me the beginning and ending uh, tags for a comment so it's the little exclamation point with the two dashes and I say um, Below is the header uh, division, and um, etc. And and so those are simple ways to make comments. Unfortunately, you'd think once it was inside the CSS, it would be context sensitive if it was perfect. So if I clicked on the comment tag, it would make a CSS comment, but it doesn't. It makes an HTML comment. But anyway, so that's how you make different comments in uh, HTML and CSS. A very simple thing to do, but a very important thing to do.